Danish noodles, and god damn it. Oh, hold on a second. Be right back. Sorry about that. I'm actually ready to start the fucking stream. <laughs> but we are waiting for someone, you know, to... ...read this along with me. They're late. music. Well, I guess I can read my parts until Hatchet gets his butt in here. You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. And there we go, Hatch's first line. God damn it. Anyways, how is everyone in chat right now? I'm 
alone deep within the silence of the darkness. I honestly don't know what to talk about while we're waiting on, on my fucking co-host to show up. And I hope they're not like gonna be 30 minutes delayed or anything. I'm hoping they show up soon. watching this, I'll pull up something else to play while waiting on them to fucking show up. Try to play while I'm waiting on my fucking co host. something downloaded while we listen to sweet music. going out. I don't know how to down the stairs, but okay.
Uh, just waiting for the game to download. Fucking taking forever. It's my Peter shit. Book from if you're in chat, uh, I dare you to say penis. Cut that off. 
play this. Because who knows when my co-host will show up. So am I in here? Oh. Well, never mind. I'm not doing that then. What? I was gonna play a different horror game while waiting for you to come in. Yeah. It's like, is stream already like in? Yeah, it's already started. Alright. Okay. I wanna fucking deck whoever came up with the idea of time zones. I want to talk to off stream because like uh what is confirmed in the one piece world is something that cannot be said on stream okay but there is one where you know how the jacket jacket fruit was bad where it just turns you into a living jacket yeah there's one even worse it's an unnamed devil fruit that gives you two arms, and that's it. Like two extra arms. You get four arms. That's it. Oh, I was about to say, if it just gives you two arms, then it's just, it's just like literally nothing but a downgrade. Yeah, that, that's all you get. You just get two extra arms. Fancy. Just be a bodybuilder, end up looking like a champ, and then you get a lot of people who are very interested in you. <laughs> Zanju sounds handy. But yeah, I'm uh... I am sorry for being late. When you said six, my t my fucking headachey ass brain said, oh yeah, damn, it's, it's only like a little bit before four right now. I'm, I should be good. Use universal time. Yeah. yeah, there there was also uh, a vote um, that was done like who would you rather give your support to, the pirates or the world government? Care to guess who who most people chose? I mean, I would hope the pirates. Yeah, the most people gave one specific reason. Okay. Um, they turn a blind eye to the celestial dragons. 
even when I do two things, uh, they uh, force people to do um, work for free forever for them. Or I'm trying not to say the actual word. Okay. And the other is uh, they'll go to a certain island, declare them all that those type of people, and uh, brutally murder every living thing. Okay. Yeah, I think most people will choose the pirates in this case. I mean, yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. The world government okay. is horrible. Uh, give me one second, I need to check something. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I ran the bot thing again. I have to check for bots on the- oh right, that's right, you can't probably hear me right now. Anyway, Zonju, how's your day? The day is fine, it's a holiday, so no worries. You might worries. hear me moving around. I'm thinking checking underneath this chair and using. Sounds like you're far away across the room. Also, the Marines have a thing, I think it was called the Buster Call. They call it upon an island, the island is to be bombed into oblivion. Oh yeah, that is true, they do do that. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I forgot one thing that the Marines also do, or the world government. Mm. It's a thing called a Buster Call. If you... I, I see. Oh, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. And also, the island gets wiped from history, too. Fun. And if you ever dare to be, uh, bring it back up, you're pretty much uh, made wanted and put to death. Fun. Anyway, so right yeah, here. this... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm using like an old recliner to sit uh, at the desk, and uh, I had to have my dad do a touch of maintenance on it, mm. but it's still creaky as fuck. So whenever I hear something weird under it, I get fucking concerned, as this is quite literally my only option for sitting at this desk. Everything else is either dangerous or painful. Right. But I'm good. Let's let's go ahead. So there's been enough waiting. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to play the Hannibal Incest game. Now, if I, if I remember correctly, I think I gave the guy like, all right. I think I gave him that kind of voice. If I remember correctly. Um, I can't remember. So I feel something like that more nasally and less tired sounding. Right. Well, I can just double check real quick. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you should have done that. 
while I was being late. Shut up. Now who's late, huh? You. No, we're both late. <laughs> That's how this works. There it is. So yeah, I'm kind of excited because once I get that new graphics card, I'm probably going to consider actually trying out streaming on my own channel. I see the botting still going on. Oh no, the voice I gave him was, I guess I lost some brain cells too. That was the, that was the voice I gave him. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that sounds about right. Okay. You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. Let's see, I gave her the Cindy voice, right? Yeah. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? And that done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. That's not... Ashley. <laughs> I love you, but that's not how this works. <laughs> right. Just then, check. Uh, I'm bored. Oh my god, she's gonna burn the paper. <laughs> how much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then. I also love how the restaurant's called Eat Food. I didn't even notice that. You there! Eat food! <laughs> now! $25! <laughs> food poisoning not guaranteed! <laughs> I would love that to be a slogan for a restaurant. That would be amazing. <laughs> it's just like, I, I get that idea from uh, Quentin Review's most recent video, to my knowledge, where he tells a story about him eating a chicken sandwich from a place that he's never been to in Ohio and uh, he's eating the sandwich and it's like a buffalo chicken melt thing and he mentions thinking it's odd mm -hmm. uh, he, he mentions thinking it's odd that they for some reason put sauerkraut into this sandwich oh. but it wasn't sauerkraut oh. and like like, 40 minutes later, he's projectile vomiting. And, uh, he mentioned at the end of the entire story that, and you know what? I didn't even complain. 
I spent seventeen ninety some. I I spent seventeen dollars and something something cents to get food poisoning. <laughs> He's like, I didn't even complain. I supported a small local business. But anyway. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Okay, that actually is odd for a bank to do. Well, I don't think that I... I don't know if this is talking about the bank thing or more just, like, everything they're doing. Oh. Yes, yeah, everything yeah. they're doing. <laughs> like, goddamn, yeah. I just want to stay at a hotel. Why do I have to, why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I bail out I bail out, out on them. Fucking got some real fucking authoritarian shit going on here. Yep. Smell it. Boo? Oh, uh. The motel is just fine, too. Uh, it's really not. I swear, I heard gunshots last night. That's or was normal. that just you? Wait, what? What would Ashley be doing that makes you think she's making gunshot sounds? I mean, they do have a gun. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I haven't shot anything. Yeah. <laughs> the smug face. <laughs> you see, I'm having an issue here. Because, like, with, with all of the implied incest thus far, like, implied and very clear emotional incest that's come up, like, that's all we have here. But I've been on Twitter. And I've been seeing so much fucking art. Oh my god, Hatchet. Not today for work art, specifically. Oh my god. So my brain is slightly broken right now. <laughs> Can I hit the enter key? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? You're looking at my nose? <laughs> Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I said... What? I think I left my gun back in the row. Girl. You dumbass. Uh you Anyway. Oh yeah. They uh they recently changed the sword law in my state. Is this no something way. you've mentioned no before? Basically, it states, um, Go ahead. you don't need a permit or license if the sword or knife is 12 inches or shorter. Again, this is so stupidly arbitrary. And you can also carry it out with you. The cops won't like it, but it's legal. <laughs> Let's see, 12... Fucking... So, so it can't be longer than a foot? Yeah. Okay. Which is, literally, most swords are longer. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Again, the, this is... That, it's so stupid. Literally, all those laws do is hit hobbyists. Yeah. That's it. That's all they hit. Like, like, ha like, is there actually a problem in Virginia 
of people going out <laughs> with fucking great swords and katanas and fucking dueling in the streets and hacking random people up. I think not. I mean, obviously, why, Hatchet why? the Yakuza is definitely in, in, in Virginia, not Japan, obviously. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Maybe there should be like, deranged Virginians out there running around with fucking long swords, hacking people up. Maybe that should be a thing. Yeah, instead of Florida man, it's Virginia man. <laughs> Virgin <laughs> Virginia man caught dismembering local politician <laughs> with great source. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to deafen in Discord and listen to the stream in, like, Twitch to check on the music. Yeah. Okay, sounds pretty reasonable. Okay. I really wish you'd be uh, less nonchalant about everything out of time. Hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True, let's get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals a damn thing. So who the fuck is this woman over here? It is Lady McWoman Face. Not people. Are you looking for anything specific? Nah, just window shopping. Uh, oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I talked to them. <laughs> I like this lady. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that's our one. <laughs> There's just a random bra on the ground. Seems normal. Oh my gosh, I actually had to pick it up! <laughs> <laughs> There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. There are couple details and instructions for people in, in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. I have a feeling that's how they got the people in the hotel to, like, take their blood and stuff. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile written on it. Paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. Oh, I have to pick up my clothes. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. So where's the goddamn gun? The closet is empty except for re reclaim oh, your there. gun. You just you just put a <laughs> She just put a single gun in an otherwise entirely empty closet. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warner's gun is yours now. You throw laundry in the washer. Is it at all commonplace for a motel to have a washing machine in their bathroom? Because I, I thought for sure that they would have like a separate area where you go to wash stuff. Um, from what I've seen, uh, 
It's usually really expensive hotels have washers and dryers in their in their rooms, like the Hyatt or something like that. But like yeah. not so well known hotels, no, that they'll, they'll, they'll be separate. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this would be perfect for Laffy. <laughs> it's T V and says, Hey you <laughs> I mean, okay. <sighs> Wait, do you want Oh, to... were you meaning were you meaning my Laffy or your Laffy? Oh, I was meaning your Laffy. I, I, I kinda oh, okay. wanted to hear it because you said you wanted to voice Laffy. Alright. Let me, let me just think for a sec. Okay. Hey, you! I, I'm a fucking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so yeah, it's so wet. Are you serious? I think that's the fucking point. Water. Water. Have you... Have you tried Toxic Soda? Wait, that's going into the Halo voice. No, not that. I'm lap... No, that's not right. Oh no. I'm Laffy McLafferson. I, like, it's it's hard to, like, put it into words, because I want it to sound very announcer-esque, but it needs to be separate from my Halo announcer voice. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have you tried Toxie Soda? It's what... <laughs> It's water, but were. Now in three new flavors. I swear, if, if all the flavors are labeled poisons, I'm gonna laugh. What? Awful. Gross. And nasty. Try them today. Yeah, I feel like that has poison in it. Just laugh. Mmm, -mm, Toxy Soda. Tastes like life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the very last moments of it. <laughs> it tastes awful. I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm drinking this. Listen, listen, hear me out. That advertisement would 100% convince me on at least trying that soda. <laughs> <laughs> There's no pillow. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Jesus Christ, poor Andrew. All done. You're welcome. Wait, what do you mean? What did we miss? You came in and you didn't even talk to him. And it seems like... Like you just did something that he would have told you to do. I think what I was supposed to do, I think I was supposed to talk to him first. Uh, first, get the gun and put the clothes away. Yeah. that's what he was supposed to tell me. <laughs> but we did that before talking to him. <laughs> Which also means that we missed some dialogue, damn it. Probably. It's probably just him telling us to do the shit. And that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, but ev every interaction between these two was valuable, I think. Sort of. <laughs> Sorry, I just went my RPG self and went around investigating everything before talking to people. Anyway. All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. 
I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'm a beast on the eyes. Oh, oh, oh no. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day, like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh my god, that face. Yeah, he said he said no more Andy, girl. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Girl, you do realize he has no problems in killing you. He almost did. This relationship is just so cyclically toxic, I love it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? She into that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. And also, isn't it kind of a dangerous thing we, to, to be in, into? If you don't know what you're doing, yeah. Or if you're not used to it, it it can be hazardous because you're, well, like you're quite literally choking someone out. Yeah. You're depriving the brain of oxygen. Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Again, way too caught up in what I've seen lately. Oh my god, Hatchet. <laughs> I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I ask of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. Oh. Is he into that? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, uh, Andrew's into pegging and Ashley's into choking. Good to know. I don't, I don't know We're what I was expecting. Very, huh? We're creating very strange head cannons about King's here. What's wrong with that? Nothing in particular, it's just me noting the fact. I like how we just talk about kinks and I immediately get a spam email called Herpes Eliminator. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Also, I was gonna say, so I'll, I'll take it things are still not good on Twitch's end for stopping the fucking spammers. The bots. Yeah, uh, I wanted to tell you earlier, uh, I was at, uh, 597 earlier, ran the bot thing, and now I'm back at 405. <sighs> and even then, like, I've got a sneaking suspicion that a hand, decent handful of the new subscribers are still just bots. Yeah. Doesn't the thing only sweep for like known bots? Yeah. <sighs> what fun. Yeah. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being. S I'm being so. Good to yell. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I'm get because I'm getting the apps and the fresh in here. So, in all the time I've been watching, like, F. U. Karen and uh, um, insane parents videos from the Click, and all my time watching those videos, there's one single piece of advice that I've picked up on. If someone says that they are being good they're most likely not being good people who are actually genuinely being good or genuinely trying to be kind don't feel the need to say it at the very least the vast majority of the time oh yeah there's actually one thing people say that uh that i shouldn't do because it's too it's way too nice. But, okay. You've heard me get mad before, right? Vaguely. Yeah. I mean, I know your gamer rage. I don't know, like, actual major rage. Yeah, where I get yeah. mad. Yeah, if I ever get mad at a person, literally, like, an hour or two later, I feel b bad about getting mad. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. It's a not too uncommon thing, as far as I know. No, <sighs> but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? Huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? Is it Twitch appropriate? <laughs> Thought. <laughs> Thoughts, reel it in. This is this is not your horny ass Twitter feed. This is the actual technically horror game. Meant to be horror. Oh god, it's gotten worse. <laughs> my head is retracting into my body. <laughs> Reject humanity, become turtle. <laughs> I can't be, or I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Seriously, like half the time their interactions just read similar to like above average fucking porn scripts. I like your face right now. <laughs> like, I, I love it. I love these characters. Mm. I'm having a good time. But at the same time, that the writing just makes me think of that outside of what I've seen on Twitter. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Go for it. Now you're gonna find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. Oh. <laughs> And now, to some less important news. One... Oh. Here we go. Uh -oh. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major. Just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody, uh, everybody died. Yes, everybody. Our representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? My dearest condolences to the fans of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a holy mismanaged mess that have burned uh, to the ground. Wait, why is a water company representative talking about this instead of the building hey. manager? We're <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try 
We recommend you try our Toxy Soda. And we rolled out three new and exciting flavor. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. <laughs> I am sure you mean to say to drink our tasty bubbly pop pop poply, which happens to be our sponsor. Oh my god. So there's a rival soda business. Ah, uh, capitalism. And it doesn't even make your organs <laughs> bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for some wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? <laughs> Sanju says, but I want to lose my organs. Oh, Sanju. But anyway, I, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is very, like... If it wasn't obvious enough already, this is very clearly depicting a over-the-top, late-stage capitalist hellhole. Yeah. Also, 62... So as, oh, sorry. So, in other words, everyone, we need to get out of capitalism fast, or we're gonna have... Uh... Abusive incestuous relationships prop up more frequently. Yeah. Also, um, six eight two would actually enjoy that soda because there was an anomalous test where this food would uh I forgot what this anomaly was called, but basically when you eat it, it'll fill up your entire insides and consume it. Yeah, six eight two kept asking for more. <laughs> Yeah, he likes that anomaly, so I'm pretty sure he would like the soda. <laughs> Two gets off on his organs being eaten. Yeah. Kinky. Anyway. Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I like the oven on? <laughs> <laughs> it said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> um... They must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, have been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you, it'll all work out. It still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news has more information on the fire. To yourself. I'm assuming this is my bed. Yep. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. It's just like Ashley to hog all the pools. Um. This is me. Someone has entered the room. Uh, oh yeah, that medallion thing that gives us premonitions. Yeah. Listen here. You, against your better judgment, you think Andrew is all that, so you're not leaving without him. Back. Wake up. We've got to go. Uh, just, mm.
I'll take it you read that and I just got cut off by Discord. Probably. Oh, wait. VPN's still on. God damn it, Hatchet. VPN is now off. Get up! I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. We steal a car. No. So, want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to this? <laughs> what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Andrew's gonna get an achievement called Lung Cancer. Lung Cancer! <laughs> Another one? Way to blow money. <laughs> Blow it out of your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, Mom. Makes you impotent, too, by the way. And sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon, anyway. <laughs> What's stopping you? Uh, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were had. <laughs> Gold just is like. <laughs> oh, I am the cultist and I'm questioning my life. <laughs> Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we. Oh, wait. <laughs> Didn't we eat that guy? <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Uh, Ashley, come on. <laughs> Seriously, though. I guess there's more from where he came... Guess there's more from where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why a sex and drugs party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, that should sounds... we follow him? Sorry. That sounds entertaining at the very least. Yep, sex LSD and drugs and party. Sex. Yeah, sex and drugs party with demons. But, I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both had to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what the cultists look-alike is up to. Uh, fine, you go. But come back soon.
You are Andrew. I guess I'm probably gonna have a bit of a break from voice lines. <laughs> Wait, hold the door! I, I guess this cult this is gonna be Master Chief voice. Yeah. Slayer lost the lead. Betrayal. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker. Run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> First you, brat. You. Two, unemployment office, one blank, one club, six FU. It's asking for there, a passcode. There was a trash can that you didn't investigate. Mixed waste. That was useful. Recycling point that seems to double as a smoking area. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Oh, oh I see the code sake, up the, there. Yeah, the code is 666, of course it is. The elevator that's arrives. That's some stupid bullshit. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Uh oh. Uh, what? Who let you in? Guy. Sorry. Uh, sorry, was I not supposed to be here? <laughs> is this a sex and demons party? <laughs> This is a pro- oh wait, no, this- that's- that was my laughing voice. Lair. This is a private event. You. You. Bahina says, sorry I got lost, or this is the sex and demons party. I wanna go for the bottom one. Do the- wait, did- did you save at all? Uh, I can't save. Dingus. Well, say, is this the Sex and Demons party and hope it doesn't kill you? Isn't this the Demon Zex party? What? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. Ah. What the? Oh, wait. It's layered. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do. <laughs> I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Betrayal. Oh well, just regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but uh. Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Wait, that's the wrong voice, but whatever. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't like that. It's layer. You don't know. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go. But you can go pick rock later. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? Layer. Oh, 
That just means six eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our ne neighbor managed to get eventually, but... You decide you should... You should get inside somehow and find out. Eh, uh, what, what do I care about those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Uh... God's people are stupid. That looks like either a nail filer or a lightsaber. What? The little bar thing right there that I interact with. Oh. Uh. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cuts. Those are paper cut. Oh, I can kind of see it. That's okay. I guess. Oh yeah, like they're in that like stacked up together in one of those plastic tubes. Yeah. Someone has left a note. It reads, "To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate." Damn. Ah, uh, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Rip. I want to get that on a poster. Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> and just be like a cat picture on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a still life. Yeah. It's just like just like a bowl of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> On the cart sits plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The elevator is coming up. Can I hide anywhere? Oh yes. The drap set set of drapery. Uh, the drapiest set of drapery you have ever oh. laid your eyes on. Oh my god, right. What? The Drabus. Oh. The earth is Drabus. As in uninteresting. Ugh. This is going to take two breaths. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Now you hide in the other cart. Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you would also be seen instantly. You pull down one of the curtains. God, curtain. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. How is that going to help? I swear. <laughs> the Ghostess hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier? than the other one. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> I love this game's humor. <laughs> yeah. Could it be? The weight of my sins. Betrayal. 
No. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. <laughs> it's been me and the devil. Just act normal. Did, did I miss it? I can't see anything from here. Oh my gosh, it's old man Hackett. I guess, yeah, let's do what old man Hackett was. <laughs> Was all set up. He looks like he's such a kind old man, but he's a cultist leader. We're gonna summon Satan so that he'll do our weekly chores for us. <laughs> uh, oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. Oh god, this fucking papers please ass music. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Feel yourself to us, Lord. Oh, no. The cultists keep calling for, the, for a lord unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Ah, look at this amateur Alec. I actually summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, oh wait, uh, I, I brought the carts down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Can we have some now? <laughs> yes, please enjoy yourselves! Where, where are your robes? Er, uh, sorry, the thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> now that you got your answers, you miss Ashley. So those other dipshits just don't notice the fact that you're that- Oh, 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 no, no, oh, no. Hey! Didn't we already tell you to beat it? How are they done? How did the summoning go? <clears throat> no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, can you come in here dressed like this again? <laughs> yeah, can Oh, yeah, you can't come in here dressed like that again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Uh, er, good. These guys are a terrible cultist.
<sighs> I mean, come to think of it, that original cultist managed to summon the demon, and, like, literally, he just summoned the demon specifically to, like, what was it? His, he offered, like, potential future payment rather than right immediately, so it seems like this entire cultist group is just entirely disconnected from how to actually deal with demons. Even though they have books on how to deal with demons. Right. These people are fucking idiots. Yeah. Just don't let this happen again. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know what these people are. They're Gen Z. Just, just our whole generation? Yes. That joke really fell flat. I always say because there's a lot of memes about Gen C being really fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's... That's the thing. I would argue that humans in general are stupid. It's just that Gen Z and, like, uh, younger millennials are, uh, the only generation to be growing up with access to mass mobile or mass media to the extent of the internet. Like, I think humans have always been this stupid. It's just now the stupidity amplifies itself by finding itself more online and displaying itself online. Oh my god. Alright. There's one road in Virginia that, that's notorious that no one wants to set foot on. It's called I-95. Okay. Because the state gov government, majority of its money goes to North Virginia, because that's where the rich Virginians really are, and they get, and most politicians come from, sadly. Uh, so they fun. obviously get more thick road fixer uppers. I-95 is filled with potholes. In fact, there's like a, there's like a sinkhole that was on the road that it took them, I think, six years to fill up. Jesus. Yeah. Um, apparently, today, there have been two car fires on I-95 that happened out what? of nowhere, and they're both Chryslers. What the... What? The Okay, who's summoning Satan at that specific road to fuck up cars? I don't know. Although, like, real talk, sinkholes are fucking freaky. Like, There's actually... Like, think about that. You're, like, think about that. You're just going about your normal day, mm -hmm. and then, oh, fucking hundred foot drop opens up beneath your feet randomly. Yeah, um... There's actually was like something I watched as a YouTube short about sinkholes, where this guy was, yeah. uh, I thought it would be fun to make a video, uh, throwing stuff inside of a sinkhole. Okay. But, um, from what I've learned from it, it's actually dangerous to do that because if you throw things into a sinkhole, it can actually speed up the process of the sinkhole growing bigger. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> hmm. Fun. And plus, the worst place the sinkhole now was at was in a swamp. Which means he can easily get stuck and sucked in. <laughs> how the... Come to think of it, how the fuck does sinkholes even work? I don't know. <laughs> All that I know is that that's a terrifying fact if you throw anything in a sinkhole. You just speed up the process. I imagine, like, I, I imagine it would depend on the sinkhole. Right. Let's see, the, the first definition that comes up is from Wikipedia, and it just says, A sinkhole is depression or hole in the ground caused by some form of collapse of the surface layer. That's really fucking broad. 
maybe reason why it speeds up the process, like maybe if you throw like a really heavy object, it just just it messes up the surface layer a bit, and that's why it grows bigger. Well, I mean, the surface layer would be referring to like, uh, like where you are. Right. So I doubt that would be it. I don't know. But whatever. Right. Let's continue. Have a good night. You're really trash, Coltus. Okay, good. Ashley's still here. Are you done snooping on the cultist? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. Oh! I remember something extremely terrifying about electric cars. You do not oh. ever want to be in an electric car fire. Okay. Because I've actually learned this. Um, let's say the fire trucks, if headlights are shown on the fire, the fire cannot be seen. It's an actual fucking thing, and it's terrifying. Wait, what? Yeah, there is some fire where, like, cer if certain lumens of light hit it, it cannot be seen. It's an actual fucking thing. That sounds like BS. Hold I'm on. gonna look this up. Yeah, yeah, cause I I saw that, like, as an on a list of car fire where where uh, fire trucks had to cut off the lights in order to see the fire. It's an actual fucking thing. Flame or invisible flame is a flame having a typical temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius. It is usually produced in a chemical react in a chemical reaction of a certain fuel air mixture. In contrast to an ordinary flame, the reaction is not vigorous and releases little heat, light, or carbon dioxide. Wait, how does that make sense? I don't know, I'm not a science major. Cold flames are difficult to observe and are uncommon in everyday life, but they are responsible for engine knock, the undesirable, erratic and noisy combustion of low octane fuels and internal combustion engines. Cold flames are accidentally discovered in 1910 by Sir Humphrey Davy, Davy who was interest who was inserting a hot platinum wire into a mixture of air and dye fuel either mm -hmm. either vapor when the experiment on the slow combustion of ether is made in the dark a pale phosphorescent but phosphorescent light is above the wire which of course is not distinct when the wire ceases to be. This appearance is connected with the formation of the This is fun. I need to actually watch a video on this. This is weird. Yeah, I, I told you that there, there are invisible fires which are terrifying. <laughs> but they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. Well, we don't actually know the, uh, like the time frame for the visions, like how long they can be away from when you have them. Right. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. 
That was like... You hear a car. It, th that's him. That's the guy who slutter floats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can't live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. <laughs> and her bra. You don't have to bring that up, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's my better bra, actually. <laughs> this new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow less inclined now. You know nothing of my trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute. He has a knife. We have a gun. What's the issue? <laughs> Does he still have the knife? Yeah, in the, in the dream, it showed he, he slit their throat, so... Oh, you mean the the guy who's killing them? Yeah. Oh yeah. The question is, where's their gun? Does Ashley have it on her? <laughs> she just sleeps with the gun. <laughs> that doesn't sound safe. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, so even if we run away now, we'll be kept... Won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, uh, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like my vision again. And you know this, how? I know because that's what I'd do. Duh. <laughs> Plus he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. Huh. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now, enough dilly dally. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Let's see. Then we'll lure him out somewhere less conspicuous. Like the bathroom! And then what? You have to ask? Heh. <sighs> Oh yeah, she probably... Yeah, the hard save moment. Oh uh, yeah, now it's no longer the same demo. Fancy. <sighs> Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. 
Personally, I think I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. Wait, what? Okay, there's actually one thing I want to say about this. Uh, yeah. this didn't kill anyone, luckily, somehow. Oh, but no. um, you know, gender reveal parties. Ah. Uh. Yes. In order to I, reveal I... they had twins, uh, they filled, uh, these glitter packs, uh, with, with C4, and set them off. Yeah, I think, I think you've mentioned this before. Yeah, a couple people got sent to the hospital. <sighs> no one died, though. Fun. Cops got covered in glitter. Okay. Yeah. Wait, how long does it take to get glitter off of you? I don't fucking know. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. <laughs> so, should I talk you out of this one, or...? No. Shut up and follow my lead. Back to Ashley. Right? I'm trying to right? see like how, oh. how long it usually would take it. Okay, I guess tell me that when I return. I gotta go get my pancakes. Oh, I just got the answer now. Oh, well, tell me when I return. Well, fuck you. I won't be long. No. How's everyone in chat? How's it hanging? Alright, yeah. right, right. so before I go back, um, apparently, it can, uh, for you just using wash uh, water and soap, it can take like, hours to days to get glitter off of you. But it can take 10 to 15 minutes if you use a lint roller. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You are Ashley. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be so awful. Yep. Oh gosh, Dolly Andro. I just realized. Fuck, fuck off, Avas. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store left me parched. Is that so? 
bus turn to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be all so quick about it, I take a short cub cut through the park. Where we may frolic among the foliage, shielded from sight. <laughs> How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my thing first. I just realized that I don't trust that here. Given that you're about to roam about with the hitman around, would you like to save the game? Uh, <laughs> save, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this game creator has a sense of humor. <laughs> so first check your bed for the damn gun. Got washed laundry. No, I think I have it on me. Well, uh, free a different ending if you tried opening the opening the closet. Well, congratulations, you found the hitman and died, which is the best part. But record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. <laughs> the Hitman wins, and... You got an achievement. I guess the world is much better off without you. However, this is all so anticlimactic, you can do a free do-over. <laughs> Okay, that was amazing. Okay, I did already collect that, so that means I got everything. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just sign in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. Just care on my fucking pancake. I already did. Is is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. I pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. What is this like the perfect area? A corner of the bushes. Advantage shopping cart. Very classy. Fancy. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we gonna do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... You know, it is true. If you kill one murderer, there'll be the same amount of murders in the world. That's why you need to kill two. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's an old joke. It's basically... No, say, you cut out. Oh, I said... You know, if you kill a murderer, there, 
there's st uh, kill one murderer, it'll still be the same amount of murderers in the world. That's why you need to kill two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you told that joke before. <laughs> <laughs> or in my case, kill 30. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds real. Yeah, yeah, she actually did sleep with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not at. You're making me do it again. Oh yeah, how long were you planning to split? How long were you planning to stream? Um, I have probably only till midnight. Cause I got off work in the morning. I'm tired. Okay, fair. Dude, only as a Nyep. You've got this. Ah, I have footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. You can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why do you stop? See what we're up to. Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. <laughs> oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. <laughs> Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No picking. You are Andrew. Where are we? Time has come to play hide and seek with the killer and Ashley. Okay, we should probably say. She's over in this direction. I hope he at least knows to turn the safety off. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh. You didn't. Find me. Keep looking. You wanna die? What if he sneaks up on you? Shell, shell, live. Nothing. It's nothing here but a bunch of branches that have been bent. Nothing but trash in this bush. People think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. <laughs> Nothing here. An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close, they are all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing. There's some bugs in the bush, but not much else. You're probably gonna have to go to the other area. Not sure if we can leave. Yeah, we can't. Nothing at all. Where the hell would he go? We didn't see him.
There he is. Oh, there he is. Shoot. Dead. It is is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. Yeah, I probably should have just pressed shoot. The thing is useless now. Just get more bullets. Or right here, you saved right before this, right? Yeah. Maybe try reloading save and see what happens if you just press shoot without the uh all caps. Right. We could just save here as well and, and if if we die, we just go back here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean no one knows it's empty. I guess so. Can I sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you need a license or something? Depends on where you live, buddy. Yeah, you can get bullets of any kind of gun in, in Texas. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remembered. The second thing that also came to fruition in my state now is that you no longer need a license or, per uh, or a permit to have a handgun, rifle, or shotgun in my state. Okay. So yeah, you can just literally go in there, buy one, and leave. <sighs> Gun laws! question is, are they still restricting muskets? Probably. <sighs> I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although, I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are you still playing the finger-pointing game? I thought we agreed, agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off out of the blue? What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hit... Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush he ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Eh. <sighs> Wait your bitching, it all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So I can tell you why. Uh... Oh, she just laughed. You are Ashley. Okay, now we can save yeah, here. And I'll uh, do a load on file six. You know where the fuck he is. Dead. Is he dead? I think it's gonna say the exact same shit. Maybe. Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. 
Well then, we can just shoot them too. Don't think, think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, it's the same thing right there. Yeah. Let me just skip that part. I'll look at it closer and make sure it doesn't say anything new. No. The question is, did he actually die? Because I don't see any blood. There's blood on his head. Oh, can you actually see that? Yeah, see a little bit by the tree. Oh, okay, yeah. So I think it's better we have the bullets, because I feel like we may need Well, yeah, it. I know shit. Well, we go back. Uh, I have no idea where the fuck to go now. This isn't the room you're staying at, and thank God for that. A putrid stench wafts from within. It says. And we can't go back in the house. Okay, so obviously we don't go back here. And we can't go over here. So you just walk on through the park. Also, where I thought. Wait, can you not activate his body? You could probably take his keys. Oh right, take his fucking keys for his car. I swear, if this is if this is the end for chapter two, that's gonna be real short. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as someone saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. <laughs> Maybe authorities will just assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Leave... Those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh. Motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Wait, what? So in this world, you have to get your fingerprints taken to get a driver's license. Well, good thing it's Mayman handling the carps then. Alright, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. <laughs> Still ain't worry about that. I've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads... Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're, we're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, I can't go in the back seat, so... Broom, broom. Broom, broom. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. 
<laughs> the where to? Does Ashley know how to drive? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? We got the car and everything now. It's not exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take moms. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in, in one ear and out the other? We're not gonna talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and lay. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from Grandma. Oh no. Well yeah, but she can't sell those. She can, but I sure can. Ah shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you say hatchet? I said Ashley. Oh. It's not like you said hatchet. So <laughs> you're just like, hatchet, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is a lot. <laughs> uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andro. The pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think that you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two. If anything, it seems they assume that guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. Ashley, what the fuck? You hadn't mentioned killing them. <laughs> yeah, where did this come from? <laughs> so now you want to kill our parents, Gray. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. <laughs> so they might as well be dead. Jesus Christ. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know a place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever. Just... Drive. You're in the driver's seat, lady. No, wait, no, it's actually perfect. Like, he, he's trying to attempt to drive with no steering wheel, and she's just backwards on the driving seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Oh my gosh, I still can't stop hearing the word shit. <laughs> what? You know the music where it, it, it sounds like they're speaking or something? It, it sounds like the word shit. I have already said this before. I, I've already said this before, and you hated me for it. 
Nah, I don't hear it. We've heard it before. Or was there like a different word I said that you hated me for? I don't remember. Slut. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> it's much phonetically closer to the word slut than shit. Just don't distract me with anything. Um... Where's okay. your seatbelt? Okay. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'd be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. I. Okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on. It's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I... Yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled... You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going, Andy. Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Wait, read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Alright, I'll be right back. I can take dog a lot. <laughs> So how are people in chat, if there's any of you here? Let's see. The thing isn't showing Zanji.
and I'm back. Oh, where are you? Oh, I remember. It wasn't shit. That was the word I was hearing. It was fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds right. That's right. Yeah, it sounds like they're just constantly saying fuck. <laughs> And I can't unhear it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Hatchet. Put this put these dots into the Morse code. It's obviously Morse code. This is not Morse code. <laughs> Well, are you going to drive or what? Neither of them are wearing seatbelts. I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do, though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm just looking at- I'm looking out for- for us. Fucking drive, Andy. D drive, Andrew. Oh, is she about to cry? Uh -huh. And so he does, finally. He decided to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but he won't forgive him until he does. So why we mm. wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. Where are y'all? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. Oh, I see. You picked up their flowers. Threw down some red flowers. Oh, that looks normal. It was entirely normal, obviously. Uh, let's obviously go up. Gosh, holy. You do can do in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. <sighs> Whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Wait, what? Oh, I'm over here now. What the fuck? And I'm down here- what? Uh, I'm... bit of a Scooby-Doo hallway thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. 
They probably need to get down to that area with the three eyes around it. Oh, you need to get the flowers. Let's see if I go over here. Yeah! Fuck. Where am I? Everything looks the same. Now we just go. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I traveled twice somehow. And yeah. Oh, it's this bitch. Well, you just avoided falling down into the eternal void. Lucky. Ah, uh, it's yo. I summoned you before, right? You man. You god. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you make me... Can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have so... Give me a second. Okay, I had, I had to collect anomalies. I have summoned you to make a deal. Wait, that's the opposite. Usually it's the human who summons the demon to make a deal. <laughs> now a demon is summoning a human to make a deal. <laughs> I, guess, I guess Ashley has upgraded to boss bitch demon status. Right. Ray, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spat. You're having with your bro your brother. <laughs> it carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You used my gift. What? Was it useful? Saving the future. Oh, ah, yes, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I'm able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human soul. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours. Our soul. Is that like an insult, or...? Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you get... And why don't you get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. 
I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. Yeah. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. <laughs> I will be waiting. Uh, right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up while your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, our soul. The entity has left. You haven't even saved in a while, have you? No. Probably should do that. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Ha! <sighs> Big brain. There's also some still on the area that we came in here at. Oh. Wasn't needed, but there's two doors. Hmm. I don't want to go through the door, it looks like death. Doors decorated with eyes. Enter? Why not? Hmm. Eyes? Now you gotta go around and turn all the eyes on. You gotta make them all erect. That's... what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> it doesn't even... If you're gonna say stupid shit, at least make it grounded in some way. Our soul. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh, I went to the wrong door. Uh, up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. Uh, yeah, I may just end stream at 10. Because I haven't been oh. tired. Oh, okay. 
This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm. <sighs> Unsummoned will result in your death. Uh, so, it's fine as long as you are summoned. So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in the crap land? <laughs> in this crap land instead? Return home, Tar Soul. I am expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and it's just not shown to me. <laughs> I think he can. Yeah. Return now. Ah. Uh, where am I now? Ah, uh, this is so tiresome. And I've had it up to hair with these stupid flowers. Fuck, I forget the name of the flowers. But I wonder if these are the, the Japanese flowers that resemble death and illness. I highly doubt it. it I mean, it, it would be kind of cool for, like, to put an in between, and that's a reference to that. I mean, yeah, but at this point, you basically bring that up almost every time flowers come up in a game. Well, at least it was confirmed in Pokemon, which is, which is really fucked up. Oh, I just step on- Fuck your flowers, bitch. Fuck your flowers. Fuck horniculture. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something, help me. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Huh? huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you threatened me like shit last night. Or treated me. I treated the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think it was I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <laughs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in this home sweet home invasion. Yeah. What kind of <laughs> huh? What were you about to say? I said I can kinda of see where they would probably cut this off here. I can kind of nah, see I, it. I think there's significantly more. Like, the... Like, think about it. The first chapter was, like, significantly longer than this. I think it was only supposed to be an hour long. Eh. But we, ha we went through it longer, because... Us. <laughs> yeah, but still. 
like it had significantly more content than what we've seen thus far. Mm. Anyway. What kind of knockoff cash grab shell is that? I'm not interested. <laughs> well, it's definitely about all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I I mean bull no thank you. Now I saw that you're into it, let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. So is she just not going to tell Andy about the whole souls thing? This way is nothing but more parking spots. Or she forgot it. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name anyway? What? It's the same as yours! I mean, we don't know that. What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates on the doors. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? Very make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Oh. Their last name is Graves? Grayson. Mm. Smiths. Ugly Van McHideous. <laughs> it's probably German. <laughs> Shitters! <laughs> they really ran out of ideas for these names quickly. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> that's okay, that's where you can really tell. Fucking Jones. Ha ha. Ha ha. Here we go. D d don't just knack. No one comes to the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Oh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. Fill your pockets with radishes! One of the planks is loose. Back door is locked. Window. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. What the... What... What is it... What are the logistics of what's going on right now? Who knows? Okay. Uh, is it... It's still too high. 
What me up? Well. Ah, uh, no good. It's open but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. So you need something to be able to reach it. Like a stick! Yeah, I saw that there. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. Let's see. Aha. Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me a hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a, a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. I try again. Exceptionally well done. That was that was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To thank you, open a door so swiftly and went with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. There are but a few words I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey. That was something I was wondering about. Uh... Right now, can't wait. Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, and tell me later. Here's what the letters. You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel uh. guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? They, they are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out? I did it. I was just on pause until I got out of the quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in the ashes now. Hey, that's this room. Oh uh, yes, check for valuables. Where at? The bathroom! There's not much in the fridge right now. The dresser is locked. Same thing. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Oh my god, they did it again. Uh. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Oh, okay. <laughs> you close the closet. Well then. Hang on, we're moving on. <laughs> They're into BSM. Oh, there's the stairs. Notice how there aren't any photos of, of us here. So what? I am guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place either. 
True, but now that there are some, why not of us two? Cause we're just too ugly to be put on the display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty. And you're supposed to be Robin Hass. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the phone your mother never calls you with. Like, oh my god. Uh, a fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes. This is some rich page old stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. I checked everywhere. Down the stairs. There's no st where, where do you see stairs? Right? Oh. You're fucking blind. I thought that was the uh, uh, part of the wall. Who's in bed down here? Yeah. Parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet, oh. they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. An extra bed implies there are, there are no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Plenty of supplies such as vinegar. <laughs> Is that vinegar used as a cooking ingredient? I mean, yeah, but it's also used in cleaning. Oh. Oh yeah, I actually learned something today. What? Um, uh, Coca-Cola can actually be used to clean blood stains quickly. Okay. <laughs> it's weird, but it its chemical compound actually helps, like, remove it. I see. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. How many sex things are we going to find here? <laughs> a good amount. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights, as well as a string of balls. <laughs> Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Some are used. <laughs> Stop adding shit. <laughs> I mean, what do you snore. mean? What do you mean, some are used? No shit, candles get used. I was making a joke to, like, pouring wax on the person's body. Is yes, thing. I know, and I hope that their that their parents aren't stupid enough to use standard candles. Right. Christmas lights. Or maybe I do them. hope that, because they're awful parents. On a table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. <laughs> I like the toilet upstairs. This one actually works. The floor drain seems a little clogged. I clogged up, but that's not your problem. And Andrew's fucking gone. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Miss and M Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opt-in for the compensation for damages caused by your, our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come to discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? 
I guess that. You got cut off. All. Hey, you hear me, Hatchet? Did I not come through? No, you you, you said I guess, and then silence uh, to call. <laughs> I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. You can consider shooting whichever parent just came in. But you can't offer souls of the dead, so you should hold off on that idea. Okay, what voice should I get the mom? Bitch voice. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means that they're a bitch. As in, what is... <laughs> I feel like I'm physically hurting you, Hatchet. I know more than that. I guess I'll just try to think. Is someone there? Mom's British. Blames a lot. <laughs> hey, Mom. It's just us. What? Well, that was probably a bad idea. Yeah. Welcome home! Uh, Andrew? She actually doesn't look that bad. Mm. What? What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh. I, uh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? <laughs> it's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You let the door unlocked. You should be really more careful about that. Did I? Yeah, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Your mom's purse. <sighs> Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. <laughs> Meat, wine, looks like your parents have a night planned. You brew some coffee. So, um, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? 
Well, first, we got evacuated after that they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. In interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. You want to guess that your parents are the ones that sent the hitmen after? Oh wait, no, it said the associating company. Yeah. They're the ones that make the, the, the shit drinks. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That would certainly make the story sound more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full parasites. I'm... Yeah, that face is filled with mother motherly affection. I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> God, you sure look like it. <laughs> so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I've wed. Look, I keep mixing up the voices. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? A perfect no on answer. They even hold barbecue events here with neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. So, probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well... It was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon. So, I really need to get started making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know fully well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um... Oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have been all kinds of... He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Uh, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead, then. Make something you smooth talker you. Inside the fridge is some meat. You should probably make something out of that if you knew what. You don't know how, what to make yet. You browse the cooking book for some, for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. Hmm. You're struck with an <sighs> odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to, into to the back of your mind where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You need I mean, at, at, oh. at least with the back and forth in, like, who we're playing as, we get the narrator 
being very insightful about the fact that this uh, weird fucking abusive relationship does in fact very clearly go both ways. Yeah. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Well, all the vegetables are outside. Potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking know it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. Wait, you can't tell whatever it is. It's going to start in our... You... Wait, hold on. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Yeah, the demon wants more souls. Potatoes. We have all the ingredients just, prepared. Oh. Just fucking miscellaneous meat. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Oh, you throw all the ingredients in a pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. <laughs> but first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely Girl. not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> No, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now, of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey! What voice should I give? Okay, I gave the mom, like, weird British lady. So. Uh. Oh. Green. How the fuck do I do a British accent? Whoa. Whoa. That's how you. That's how you get into a British accent. You just start taking away 
up. But that was awful. Hello, kids. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Hello, kids. It's good to see you. Says Dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. You get to see what he looks like? One extremely tiresome dinner later. But where's the still image of the dad? Well, you see, I don't know. <sighs> that was a riveting conversation. What did we <laughs> What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kid. I make you go. I'm headed straight to bed. <laughs> Let's see, uh, British lady. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Damn, That's they're bad parents and they're rude asses. Oh, god damn it. No one wants to fuck the dad, obviously. Why'd you say god also, damn we're it? gonna kill their parents? Neat. <laughs> right? <laughs> I said, oh, god damn it, because the fucking fuck music's back. <laughs> oh. And then Bookworm comes in. With Mike Wazowski voices, no one wants to fuck the dad. Oh. <laughs> Hi, book. We only have 30 minutes left to stream because work made me really, really fucking tired. Although you might be happy to know that uh, I am uh, getting a graphics card for this new computer for my birthday slash Christmas present for my parents. And once that comes in, I am quite heavily considering starting up streaming on my own channel. Green's Bookworm, you have to donate a bunch of money to hatch it. Well, it's not like I'd be an affiliate right off the bat. You don't know that. That's not how that works, bro. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> so yeah, I guess yeah, if that what? does... So I guess if that does... Yep. So I guess if that does end up coming to fruition, I'll just message you in DMs on Discord. Since there. I don't know what servers we're still in, and I don't I don't think I would post about it outside of Bright server initially. So. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? <laughs> Robin nor Cannon. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. If anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? We just gotta chat in your stream and give it the good news. And hopefully don't get botted. It also our streaming. Let's see what we just gotta chat in your stream. Give it the good view. Oh, give it the good views. I read that as news. Oh my god. Okay. Well, surely not their two dead kids. Also, our streaming, yeah. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor Graves' siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our, s our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch will snitch on us anyway? 
Seems to me she's already sold us off at once before. I mean, assuming she she believed me earlier, there's no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. Speaking of giving money to... <laughs> Oh, uh, Fire thank Red you, Emblem Bookworm. have gifted four subs to viewers. Yay. I gifted appreciate subs. it. You're up to 15 out of 250. Ten more, and goal. I'll get more emotes of Daryl. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Book, get, get grinding. We need Daryl emotes. We're gonna try to get up to 25 subs before the end of the non subathon subathon. Ah, uh, yeah. We must have Daryl emotes. Mm hmm. What? What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Fuck yeah, we're an ostrich. Wait, I think I missed a, a a fucking line there. Oh well. I think you skipped over one of her lines. Dick that, face. I like to go back. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing half the family here, it's, it's you and me. So you're saying we're not happy? No. No, you are not happy, girl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> not that I don't know that already. Fuck off with that, that's not what I said. Actually, I choose you. If you keep your end in agreement, everything should ju be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. Girl. I'm not. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Oh, that was what? Sorry. I thought it was just dots. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little man? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> be a good little murder boy. Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Uh-oh. I've 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 seen I've seen those pictures around. It's now isn't the time for this anyway. 
Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money in, in the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. Alright, I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Oh shit. Oh yeah. shit. Did you not notice her showing up? No, I did. Oh. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you can go stay with. Eh. There isn't enough space in the house. You've got a couch and you've got a spare bed downstairs. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. Book says, oh no, there was only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's My not have cool. fucked on this bed, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, there was a reference. Oh yeah, book. You might have missed it, cause unless you were just lurking, cause earlier Bright looked around in their bedroom in this new house, and it, it again made reference to uh, the the doinking happening on the bed, and then yeah. Ashley op opened the 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 closet. There was a bunch of BDSM gear, <laughs> as well as sexy lingerie in the basement. Yeah, next to the washing machine. This game really goes there. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're an unwelcome visit. There's just... Very interesting. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the ca yeah, exactly what I was saying. Andrew, you can take the couch. All right. Good night. Good night. So she's just like not going. So, so we're just not going to address the elephant in the room of the fact that she walked in on you two discussing killing her. Yeah. Also, I have. To a feeling that she probably knows that Ashley has feelings for Andrew. <laughs> That's why she sets well, separate and, houses. And vice versa. It's pretty yeah. clear that it's like a two-way street by now. I'm pretty sure she knows. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some images that I'm guessing are still coming up that would confirm that suspicion.
Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof now. Right now. And you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sleep lady. now, motherfucker. <laughs> lady, lady, you're not giving us reasons to not want you dead. Sleep I mean, now. What? I mean, she's hot. You think that matters right now? <laughs> Ashley is way hot. Ashley is objectively hotter. But for some reason, I kind of like the mother better. Hmm. Well, I guess you get to be a sacrificed soul as well. <laughs> I, I'm technically already a sacrificed soul if you think, if you think about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> leave now, or get out at once. Bright likes MILFs, got it. I mean, MILFs are pretty cool. I'm not saying she's bad looking, but Ashley's better. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention to going to pick a fight with Ash with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Save inside the dream. Say that oh. for next time, because it's nine fifty. So, uh, stream tomorrow? Yeah, um... I'm not sure if I'll stream the Goose Goose Duck YouTuber thing, but I will be streaming early in the morning. Always, um, you're, you're beautiful! Okay, uh, and... <laughs> like, is there gonna be a stream around the standard time we do streams? No, it would just be in the morning. Okay. Do you, do you have back on night shift or just don't want to double book it? Uh, I probably don't want to double book it. Fair. Then I guess just let me know when, uh, when you're back up for streaming. Yeah, so, uh, Sunday will be pretty hard time, six o'clock. Gotcha. It's just tomorrow I'll be in early in the morning. Mm. I need to see. What what is the like software you use for streaming? OBS. Is it free? As far as I'm aware, yeah it's free. OBS Studio. Let's see. I download it now. But yeah. Anyways, book from last words go. Sorry you came right at the end. Me. I'm thinking of grabbing this because basically the reason why I was thinking I wait until uh I have the graphics card to stream is because I'd like to stream uh, Skyrim Anniversary Edition, once I actually get the Anniversary Edition DLC. But, come to think of it, I have both Elder Scrolls Morrowind and, uh, Oblivion. Uh, so if I was to start streaming, I could just start with those. And then Book gets to watch me struggle as I suffer through an extremely older type of RPG that I'm not used to. Uh -huh.
says yay. Can't wait. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright. Oh, how fuck does my the hotness of Ashley and her mom? Wait, what did you say? What's that? I said for oh for fuck's sake. They use claptrap. Oh. <laughs> I agree, fuck scammers. I'm not sure if you noticed, Hatchet, but the bank says I'll probably get some or all my money uh, all my money back November 5th. Uh you'll get the bank said you'll get all your money back by the November or, 5th? Or some of it. Oh, uh, some of it. Or all or all or some. Sweet. But until Small. then, I'm broke. Yeah. Anyway, oh, cool. hatchet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hatchet. Last words go. I have apparently now installed OBS Studio twenty nine point one point three. Nice. Um, it should automatically run updates, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And I guess I'll just probably watch a couple tutorials on how to use the damn thing. It's not at all complicated. It's very easy. And like my my microphone's decent enough for streaming, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then, uh, um, uh, and remember, kids, when consuming sustenance, there is nothing more filling than the outside of the Chernobyl power plant. Eating that will help you grow big and tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before I say my final words... I forgot the name of the fucking fungus, but um, there is apparently a group that's trying to spread misinformation because they believe this is true, that the, uh, the zombie deer disease and this one fungus that goes after insects that the order steps. Yes, that. Thank you. Uh, can infect humans. When it's been scientifically proven, the likeliness is slim to none. Well, I mean, cordyceps 100% can't do much to us. Yeah. Like, it's very specifically geared toward hijacking the brains of tiny insects. It would not have a good time trying to do anything similar to that in a human. And pretty much by the time it even tries to medical and intervention. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would feel it trying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you would most likely be, start feeling pretty sickly. Unless it just, like, stays completely under the radar, which seems odd. Yeah. I'm also thinking I need to just start using a different browser for streaming stuff. Uh. Because I am so obsessed with fucking collecting all of the hentai links that it always starts to become problematic because like I go to my to download workspace and would you look at this there's like a hundred fucking tabs open oh my god anyways uh I hope you enjoyed uh and I'll see you guys next time for your next mission and um Hatch's porn history is huge. <laughs>